Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You guys know me, I'm always on some bullshit. And so today I've been just like using this AI program that I learned about called Stable Diffusion. And honestly, I've just been spending the whole day just generating images of myself. I only trained it with like eight images. And some of these are like very, very, very creepy because it looks exactly like me, but I never took this photo. I've never been to this place. I've never worn these clothes. But I figured I would do something avatar related. And today I'm gonna be generating Avatar The Last Airbender characters in live action. Because who needs Netflix when you can just generate it yourself using artificial intelligence? So here I have the program Stable Diffusion. Um, I already generated like this character that kind of looks like Aang a little bit. I was trying to get like the forehead arrow, which was like just so painful to try to find. And then as you can see on the right, this is a generation based on the image that I already generated. So it's just like a generation on top of a generation. I am worried about how this is gonna turn out, I'm not gonna lie. It took me like a few hours to really figure out how to put this all together. But after I did, it was pretty simple to figure out how to use the program. So I would just recommend looking up videos online, tutorials, things like that. And I'll leave some in the description for you if you're interested in this program. Yes, but this character looks very insane. It does not look like Aang very much. The prompts that I chose were Aang from The Last Airbender. I used Canon EOS 5D Mark 5 Mark 488 millimeters because that's like what I saw on Reddit that people were using to generate live action photos of characters. Or Gordon Colmier is Aang. I think that's how you say his name. Um, yeah, I just put this here because that's the live action actor and it needed like a reference for like a person. And then I said air nomad arrow on forehead. And I put this in parentheses so it like tries to emphasize this element. Um, and then here is like the things that you can exclude to generate. So I'm trying to avoid it from having face tattoos and shoulder tattoos because I was getting a lot of like facial, facial tattoos. And it did not look like Aang, just like how this character does not look like Aang. But we're going to generate more images. We're going to see... We're gonna see how close we can get. Okay, you know what? Like, these are getting a lot better than, than honestly, than what I was trying to do earlier. Like, I know that most of his head is covered with tattoos, but like, having this like thin blue line, if we can just get it to make that into sort of an arrow shape, and then we can put it back into the AI and then maybe have it clean it up a little bit. That'll be really, really good. And all of these are being saved on my on my file so we can just keep generating. Okay, the problem is is that it's like, I don't know, these ones are a little crazy. Like, I wanna tell it to exclude, like I'm trying to tell it to exclude the face tattoos but it keeps giving us like, spitting out even more facial tattoos. I would love to like go in Photoshop and try to like edit this. Unfortunately, I do not own Photoshop so that's something. I can't do. But we're just gonna see how much we can do just with the one platform, like with Stable Diffusion. Okay, these are the ones that it generated. I just decided to do a batch of eight. Um, yeah, these, and each one is like downloaded individually. I think honestly these are, I know that he has like yellow on his face, right? But I think that this bottom one, honestly is getting closer to like an Aang from Avatar Last Airbender, if I'm being honest. Like these ones look like older characters right these th these two look young and then this one is honestly like that blue line and like almost an arrow shape at the you know it has weird markings on its on his eyebrows but um i feel like we're getting closer so i'm gonna try to use this image and then we're gonna try to do the same thing and keep getting it until hopefully we can find like a better image. And I decided just to include orange tattoos into the negative section so that it hopefully doesn't generate orange tattoos on his face. But yeah, I don't know how, how much this is gonna work. We'll see. Oh my god. Okay, these look crazy. Oh my goodness. These are insane. Okay, so it did not listen to me at all. That's cool. It did not listen to the fact that I did not want any tattoos on the on the forehead or on the I guess I did put on the forehead specifically, but like, I'm trying to get the arrow, you know what I'm saying? Like, like some of these are crazy though. Like, oh my God, these are like not, these are, it just, I want something simple. <laughs> I don't want like this whole like, like intricate thing. I don't know what I need to tell it to like be able to avoid it. I mean, look at this one. This one's like his skull is coming off. This is so like weird. Also, I could like try to mess with like the, 
denoising and and the CFG scale. But I think for right now this is this is all right for the most part. Maybe I should do the denoise just a few like down at like 0 0.4. Okay. Um again, <laughs> these are these are not quite like honestly, these are looking more like cartoon characters. It's going in like the opposite kind of direction. But some of these do are starting to look kind of like arrows. Like to be honest, like if this wasn't yellow and also if he didn't have like this weird robotic thing on his like head, <laughs> you know? Oh my God. Okay. These almost, almost look good. Look at that. Look at these ones. These ones are almost there. Why does it want to be so orange? I don't, I'm like so close, but the orange. Okay. I'm really like struggling with the results here. I think what I'll do is I'll go to in paint and what you can do, we'll take like the most kind of arrowy one and then we'll just say like, hopefully it'll, it can change like this section, right? And then everywhere that I'm not painting over, it will hopefully will not change. And then hopefully we can get it to sort of fix up the mistakes that the other AI has been making. Okay. These are getting a little weirder. The plan was not for this to take two days, but here we are I'm back because I had to go to sleep because honestly, this was getting very tiring and I was trying to fiddle with the results and I wasn't really making a lot of progress. But finally, I decided what I was going to do was just go into like a photo, random photo editor on my iPhone and try to take the yellow part of the arrow that was on his forehead and turn it blue. So I just use a very basic like color replace and then I'm using the image to image AI generator to then come up with other images based on these results. And I feel like we're getting a little closer to like Aang. So I'm going to take my, I'm going to keep generating a couple more images and then take the best results and then go from there. Oh my God. Okay. I think we're finally, <laughs> I think I'm finally starting to see some results. Um, okay. These are very like gray. Some of them are more, more blue. This one is way more blue. I think I'm finally starting to see like Aang. This is crazy. This is actually so crazy. Okay, of these ones, I think, I mean, they all look a lot like him, right? I think actually the last one or one of these ones up here. This one's not that bad either. Oh my God, this is really crazy. I think I'll try it with... I think this one looks a little more realistic. So I'm going to try it with this one again and see kind of what it does. Okay. Honestly, these are amazing. These are incredible. Like these actually look a lot like Aang. Like that is really that I'm really impressed with these. Okay. Now I'm going to send this one to InPaint. And what I'm going to try to do is give like some like, outfits, you know, to make it like actually look like Aang. I mean, it could just work like he does. He is shirtless in the show sometimes, but I want to see if I can get robes onto him. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like, oh my God. Okay. I think it's finally working. I mean, it's fine. These are fine because I'm going to refine them. Oh my God. These are so good. Okay. Um, which one looks most like Aang? Like, Oh my god, that looks like it's a dress. Fierce. Honestly, I feel like if this didn't have this, like, giant tattoo in the middle, this one would, would be pretty good. But actually, like, this one's alright. You know, truthfully, like, they're all pretty good. This one's fine, and I think this one's probably the best. I mean, this one looks a little more like fi the Fire Nation. <laughs> this is This is so, like... Maybe I should do this one. This one does look like it's like his finale look. So I'm going to go with this one actually. And let's go to send to image. And then let's see what it generates. Okay, so at this point my computer actually crashed. So the results I got were actually like pretty accurate. So I decided I would just kind of edit it off screen and come up with the end result for you guys. This is all of the images that I generated. 
like to try to make the, this project work you can see how extreme some of these were and then the times where you just see one part of the body change that's when I was using the in paint feature um, but yeah this was really really difficult to do this took like over 400 500 images I want to say and you know it was actually ended up being pretty good that I was able to make Aang have like an actual arrow like as you can see now it's like more like an arrow and I did have to use the um, features on this app that I have called Pixar but even the, doing that and just changing the color of it and making it so that it looked more like a blue arrow that was all, all it took for it to start to generate actual arrows on his forehead so that was really really cool this is the end result I, I came up with I changed the color the lighting just a little bit um, to kind of make it look a little more natural than what the results I ended up getting um, because I was getting a lot of very red <laughs> colors and you know I'm really actually very happy with this result like I feel like this looks like a live action version of Aang he has the arrow I mean granted the arrow is not perfect like some of these things aren't perfect and it's probably not that impressive looking back on it but I'm impressed with myself I think I did such a good job and I want to make the rest of the characters. I know this video was not that long, it was only 11 minutes, but I'm telling you, this took me hours and hours and hours and hours. So if you guys appreciated this video, please go ahead and leave a like, leave a subscription, and let me know in the comments if I should make other characters. Maybe I should make Katara, and Sokka, Toph, Zuko next, uh, or maybe I should start making the Legend of Korra characters. Alright, I'll see you guys all in the next video.